look how sweet that looks. This is perfect. I am thinking that I am going to run some very, very faint black lines, like another layer of black using this. This is, this came out perfect over there. Now this is my orange one. I have to label it. I can't use that again. But I'm going to get some brown and give the background just the slightest little hint of brown. And this side, I, I still don't know. I did paint all of the um, trucks. Here they are. Uh, you know, just don't know what's going to happen. One, two, three. You know, this may be fine just like this. Turn this down, mat it, put these down, and give, you never, um, like these are trucks, and trucks run on the ground. So I will um, put some dirt under them, so to speak. Oh, oh, I see it. See what happens? After a while, you just see it. I shall be back and um, we're going to paint that brown, I think. I'm not sure. Yet. The first thing I am going to do before I do absolutely anything else is remove the aggravating wax paper. Unnecessary noise is what I call that. So I've um, been thinking about this. I just love this. This, I'm going to love. I'm going to love this. But not right now. Um, I need to put a little bit of a color on the back. So I have some bubble wrap. And I went and I found um, Distress Ink Tea Dye by um, Tim Holtz. Now, pounce. I don't want much. And I can see if I like it or not by putting it over here in the back. Very, very, very light pouncing. So, yeah, I'm going to go with it. I took the picture, remember? Remove everything and just lightly pounce. Not every time I get bubble wrap, but when I do get bubble wrap and I know I'm running out of bubble wrap, I will put aside some to use in my crafting. It's Halloween. I don't know what time the kids will be coming out, but Halloween in the 60s, different than Halloween nowadays. I had two big brothers. They used to drag me all around. I lived in um, Hope, Rhode Island, which is a village. And, um, God, we would go from one end of town to the other. Start out the moment it got dark. Absolutely no parental supervision. My mother and father just gave me to my brothers. And they were like three or four years older than me, you know. Off we go. I am going to just do some edging over here. So our costumes were made up of, I don't know, whatever we had in the house. I guess my brother's always dressed up as bums. And, um, you know, and I would dress up as a gypsy. Whatever was around the house, my mother would find this or this or this and put it on. Our trick-or-treat bags, pillowcases, and off we would go. And I swear, sometimes we didn't get home till 10 o'clock. I have a memory of, um, <laughs> my, we were at this house and it was really, really late. And um, so they knock on the door and the man comes out and he was really mad because we were um, out so late, you know. And so my he kind of said something naughty to us and and then my brothers took candy out of their bags and they started throwing it at them and then we ran <laughs> so like you know how you remember a moment 
that was a moment. That was a moment. Oh, my God. And then by the time I got home, I was so tired. If the next day was a school day, I was just, like, doomed. So I was, like, in grade school. You know, we're talking <laughs> first, second, third grade. That's crazy, huh? So I know I went like that and like this and like this. Right. And then that went over there. Maybe something went over here. Yeah, I don't want to cover up his cute face. And maybe something over there. I got one more. I'm going to go look at my picture and see how I I do. And then this was over here. I think that's good. I think that's really cute. And I have some really, really small lettering and um, I need to find out when this picture was taken. It was a long time ago. I have my timer on. Gave myself an hour down here, then I have to go back upstairs. Photos. Let's see, here it is. Okay. So this is more at an angle. Lots of room for angle. And these came underneath like that and like that, like that. I have all these leftover supplies. I don't like to keep um, leftover stuff after I'm done using it. I don't know what to do with it. I don't want to throw it away. Maybe I should have a giveaway. I have to figure out how to do that, but what I can do is figure out how to do that. I like the way that looks. Now I'm looking at it on my monitor and it looks fine. Now is the tricky part. Okay, so I'm going to take that off. So I am looking at this side of the page and that side of the page and I can see that my um, tea dye did give me a little color. Now you don't have to have tea dye you don't even have to have an ink pad. Um, you can actually like use colored pencil very, very lightly. This is not a colored pencil, but just hold your, your pencil, a sharp pencil, a sharp colored pencil, and just like give yourself lines lightly. Just go fast. Best way to do things sometimes is just put it down, close your eyes, and just and just do it. Honest to God, it's like the best way to do things. Trying to think of alternatives. You can also just get some um, brown acrylic paint or watercolor paint and um, get a scratchy brush. So they do sell these brushes at um, Dollar Tree and I believe they're in like the uh, area where you buy paints and stuff. Very poor quality brush but very, very good for certain things. And one of the things it's good for is you make a puddle of paint, maybe water it down if you're using acrylics. And then, so here's my paint. And then just load up and then just go back and forth. Close your eyes and go back and forth and you'd be amazed. And once again, that is why you have your practice page in the back. I'll do that technique one time, but not on this layout. When you're making things, you always come up with new ideas. It's just nuts. Now, I have to remember where I want to put this. This I want to put on an angle. I'll be darned if I can't find that tape that I bought at Dollar Tree. It's probably still... Oh, I didn't do my prayer, did I? Not for that. You know why? Probably because I have an alternative and I didn't want to bother God. All right. So there, now I'm going to use some wet glue to put these down. Plenty of wet glue at the Dollar Tree. And if you have wet glue, just use it. Use what you have. This is, um, it says collage, 
collage something. I don't know. But I know that this is a glue too. So we'll open it up. And I'm just going to... Ooh, Annie. It's coming out a little bit more than whoop, what I want. It, it exploded. It was like a volcano. I'll put that one there. I need baby wipes. Baby wipes is something you should always have at your table when you're um doing stuff like this. Let me go find some. I'll be right back. <laughs> 